Hey everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Well I told you we'd be putting this old truck to work and you'd be seeing it around the farm. It had its first official farm run today. We got a load of lumber. Let me turn this camera around and show you about it. So as you know we are huge on bartering here at the farm and my husband does a lot of bartering with his hydraulic fluids, his diesel exhaust fluid, even fuel. So the guy that runs this sawmill is one of his customers and he needed diesel fuel for his sawmill and we said hey we'd really like to finish that restoration project on that eager beaver trailer we had a live stream talking about it earlier this summer we even had a donation for super chat towards some tires and the tires have been picked up for it and replaced now we need to get a couple more tires for it and work on the deck so we did a trade for white oak lumber. Now he told us that the difference between white oak and red oak is that where the tree rings grow and expand, the tree actually produces its own you know, byproduct to fill in that space as it grows so you don't get like the heavy uh, creasing or ring marks that you would with red oak. And he said, this is really great for anything that's gonna be sitting out like the trailer deck. So we're gonna be able to use this he cut them all as two by sixes and they are longer than eight foot. I think he said they're eight foot 10 inches. So this is more than enough to be able to do that whole trailer project. And we're going to be able to get on with that. The trouble is we're also getting a cold snap after today. I'm working on an exterior paint project at the workhouse and there's no way I can get to that trailer in the next 24 hours. And you know what? This mom, this handyman and this farm worker had to take a few hours to herself today. I have been wiped out and whipped and I don't know what is going on with the moon cycles but I checked it out and there is a new moon and they said everything weird happens at full moons and new moons. People were up all night long burning out making just all kinds of noise I don't know it has to do with the hunting or the moon but there was a lot of activity going on around here until about 3 30 this morning and I could not get any good deep sleep so I decided to call it a late day. And I'm not heading over to the workhouse until I've had some lunch. I'm doing the kids' haircuts today. He went to go get the lumber. And I'm just having a little bit of a rushing around the house kind of day. It's not slow going at all. I have not stopped since I got out of bed this morning. But I'm going to take a break, eat some lunch. I've got homemade pizza cooking in the house. I've got to pull some chairs out for a project from the garage. And then I'll get on with my day a little bit later. So I just wanted to share with you about this wood project and we'll splice it in with some trailer restoration here in a little bit. the wind can be harsh so I'll try and keep this brief but he's working on the dovetail of the eager beaver I keep telling the guy to tuck his shirt in because the wind keeps kicking off and he doesn't have his belt or his suspenders on to keep his pants up I'm not feeding him enough mostly it's been that he's been cutting out sugar and I've been at the workhouse so he's only had like meat and cheese and proper food instead of cookies and things that mom makes So he's been doing the entire trailer deck by hand and he said it wasn't working because he was having to get up underneath it but because with the dovetail he can reach he's able to use his air gun. Well there's other stuff in the way you can't spin the ratchet. Yeah. So it works. He says there's other stuff in the way so that he couldn't spin the ratchet because of all the beams and supports. So as always one job leads to another job and I had said to him he had talked about building a wall or a fence right through here because you can see with the leaves everything blows up here well after we got that driveway project all done 
We got into the roofing project and just didn't think about his snow fence and his privacy wall here. And I said to him, we've got a bunch of this galvanized steel that's brand new. Lumber's real high right now, so it's hard to go ahead and build a wood fence. I like the look of industrial, and I said to him, why don't you just use that galvanized siding to put up a snow fence? He said, well, you can go get the supplies and take care of that. Well, we've got the trailer now, and we've got the truck, so we could head right over there and go get it. But I don't like pulling this trailer all on my own. I especially don't want to pull it with his old truck. he got the very last of his boards in and I wanted to tell you when it was real windy I was just showing you the hardware that we used we spent uh, $25 for more washers and we did that because we were able to cut off and save all of the washers that were with it they are called a uh, conical or conical and Belleville washer and it tightens and compresses as the wood swells um, or shrinks with time and temperatures, weather changes. Um, Eager Beaver, when they built the trailer, only had a 12 foot board and a four foot board and they would alternate it every other section. The log that was available to us from the sawmill that he used, he had a just about nine foot log. So he was able to do four foot, eight foot, four foot and stagger them on each side. All in all, the lumber costs us $190. We spent $25 on the washers and about $65 for the nylon locking nuts and bolts. And some of those are gonna go back. That's what um, I'm going back. You spent about $75 and about $10 worth of that. Okay, so about $65 total. So whatever they added up to, I can't do math on the spot like that. Um, this has needed done for a long, long time. Um, we've been doing some searches trying to find some more spare tires locally because some of these don't like to hold air very well. There's not a lot of tread on some of them. Um, he wants to do some welding there still on the side panels and everything, but the strength and integrity of this trailer, holy cow, is so much better than it was. And I don't know, what kind of wood was on it before, do you know? He says probably the same. So the Eager Beaver, I would have liked to have painted it, but you know what? It's been 40 degrees and it's just too late in the season. So if we ever got some warm weather before winter, um, it's probably gonna get painted next year. Even just finding these uh, stickers on the sides, those are so expensive to add up and do an entire trailer. And you can see just over time from equipment and age and probably running into things, some of them are gone, but you know, when they're wanting $10 a sticker, that's nuts gotta find somebody on Etsy who can make reflective stickers out of you know sheets of stickers or something with a cutter because that'd be a heck of a thing to do and I always like to put you know new stickers and stuff on things like we did with the back blade made it look so nice so Beaker Beaver is complete and I've already got to mind of hauling the 40 tractor around on it for a little bit that looks beautiful Trey Good job. Did you help with that too, Murdoch? Yeah. Thank you so much. That will condition that. Yep, just like Dad said. Boy, you can see where it's soaked in already. Very nice. Wow. Looks like red oak. You know, brings out so much color. Don't slap it on your clothes. Bring that pail inside for the next day and then you just put some hydraulic oil in a five gallon bucket for them. Yeah. And this first coat, let me look in the bucket and see what it's like. I'd say about a gallon treat. So, that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.